Oh, hey YouTubers, it's Rob Moffitt. Guys, um, today is going to be kind of a different video. I saw a poll on the internet where 40% of the people questioned couldn't name a single right listed in any of the amendments of the Constitution, specifically in the First Amendment. 40% couldn't name a single one of those listed in the First Amendment. And I thought of a way that I could show people they could easily remember all five of the rights listed in the First Amendment. And it's important to me because America, the thing that's special about it is our rights and our freedoms and liberties that were given to us by the people who came here escaping religious and political persecution and tyranny. They wanted to make sure that it never happened to anybody or their descendants ever again. So if you don't use it, you lose it. If you don't know you have it, <laughs> you don't got it. So here's a simple way anybody can remember for all time. What are the five rights listed in the First Amendment? And remember, these are rights that are listed. We don't get them from the Constitution. The Constitution said we get our rights from God, which is cool because if the king ever says, you know what, you can't have this right, we can tell the king, well, you didn't give it to us. We got it from God. Not only that, the Constitution says if there's rights that we don't have, are, that aren't listed in the Constitution, we still get to have them. We can just come up with an amendment later on. So, you know, that's a really cool thing about the Constitution. It makes it different than any other place in the whole world. So, let's get started. The first thing to remember about the rights listed in the First Amendment is the right of assembly. You could have just two people. Let's say you believe the Earth is flat and you have some friends that the Earth is flat and you want to get together and assemble someplace. Well, the king can't say, you know what, you flat earth people, you don't get to assemble. In America, two people can assemble or a million people can assemble. You might need to get some zoning and some, some uh, help from uh, the authorities to have a million people assemble, but you can do it. Nobody can say, well, you're not allowed to. You might have to figure out a way to come up to do it, but you can, you can assemble. Now, you do have instances where people, let's say you're in a flat earth society and there's people that don't like you. You might go to a hotel and you want to have discussions about the flat earth and people with hoods on and masks might come to your uh, meeting and disrupt it or tell the hotel that they're going to engage in uh, uh, act, act activities against the flat earth people. So the hotel will say, you know what, we don't want you flat earth people to come. But they're a private business, they don't have to let anybody come. But you can find a venue someplace in America to assemble peacefully if you want to because it's listed as a right in the First Amendment. The second thing is once you do assemble, what can you do? Well, you can talk. <laughs> the right of free speech is listed <laughs> in the First Amendment as one of your rights. Freedom of speech, the freedom of assembly. Freedom of assembly, freedom of speech. What is a third thing listed? People don't often talk about it or think about it, but it's the right to petition the government to address grievances you have. If you have grievances against the government, you can let them know. Now, in a lot of places, you can't do that. Um, I remember working on the ship one time, and they told me about a guy who was on another ship who was uh, uh, flying under a different flag, a different country. And they happened to have a, a photograph of the king on the wall, or, or the guy who was ruling that country at the time. And the guy took the picture down and put up a picture of a sausage. Well, they came and arrested him and took him away. <laughs> you can put up, you can take down the president's picture and put up a picture of a sausage if you want to. But, but you can also petition the government grievances, which you can't do in a lot of countries. So that's your third that's your third right listed. What's the fourth right? Well, the freedom of the press. The press, if it finds out a bunch of people are assembling and talking about stuff, they might say, hey, this is what's happening. But the best thing about freedom of the press is when you have two press. You have one press that has a bias and another one has a different bias. So you get two sides of or two opinions about what's happening. You don't just get one view. Oftentimes, when you have a press that 
just has one view, it becomes the dominant one. It goes along with the ruling power, and it just represents the government and, and the elites. So you really want to have a free press. You want to have a press that's pushing back against. So that's the best free press to have, not just one. The fifth press, or fifth freedom listed in the First Amendment is freedom of religion. And that's very important because if you have a really bad government <laughs> that doesn't care about your rights, you might need <laughs> a religion to help you survive and get through. Um, uh, America was founded on, on freedom of religion. Uh, people coming to this country to escape religious persecution, to form and worship their own religions. And America goes a long way in letting anybody worship in any way they want. Now, they're not too happy about some people who have religions that are really sort of militant political cults masquerading as religions. I have to clear my throat. <coughs> but, you know, there are some people like that. But um, for the most part, America, we let people be any religion they want and encourage it. So those are your five freedoms listed in the First Amendment. And interestingly enough, the next amendment is the, the Second Amendment, which guarantees your First Amendment rights. Uh, <laughs> but that's another video. So just remember, your right of assembly, two people or a million, it doesn't matter. You have freedom of speech once you do assemble, or even if you're not assembled. You have the right to petition the grievances to the government for to, so they can redress those grievances. You have freedom of the press. Hopefully it's a press that's just not one-sided. And you have freedom of religion. So those are your five rights listed in the First Amendment. I hope this helps, and y'all come back and watch more. Put on new videos every week. <laughs> Take care. See you out there. God bless America.